Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to our UCLA Global Internship Program Virtual Info Session. My name is Ana Arellano, and I'm the coordinator here at the UCLA Study Abroad Office for the Global Internship Program. And today we have a lot of great information to share with you about the Virtual Internship Program and why it may bring a lot of benefits to your personal, academic, and professional growth. Um, with that said, we will speak a little bit about the program overall, what it is, uh, the eligibility requirements to participate on the Global Internship Program. We'll briefly touch upon the placement process and timeline what you can expect on how you secure an internship. Uh, we'll touch upon the program costs and funding options. Uh, we do have a very special guest with us today. We have our virtual internship team. We'll speak a little bit more about what it's like to intern virtually, what you can expect. And we'll also have some past internship examples to show you. And we'll conclude with a Q&A to answer all those questions before you submit your application. So with that said, what is a global internship program? Specifically, what is a virtual program? What can you expect? So well, this is a 10 week program in which eight of those 10 weeks you are conducting your online virtual internship. These exact dates are June 23rd through August 15th, 2025. And these dates have been solidified and they are confirmed. As mentioned, this is a 10 week program. So throughout 10, the 10 weeks of the program from June 23rd through August 29th, you are conducting online coursework to ensure that you are receiving course credit for your respective internship. On the Global Internship Program, we offer two courses in which students can earn either four or eight units. All students are guaranteed four units. This is a mandatory course, internship course that all students must take. Um, however, we also offer an optional course where students can earn an additional four units for a total of eight on the respective program. Um, like I mentioned, these are academic unpaid internships and students are expected to intern 20 to 30 hours per week, depending on the respective role and the respective organization and company. Uh, but you are expected to intern 20, 30, 20 to 30 hours per week. And we'll touch a little bit more about this shortly. So within the uh, virtual internship program, we offer a variety of career sectors. They include advertising, marketing, PR, engineering, human rights, law, social justice, social work. So as you can see, there's a vast variety that is available. The great thing about virtual internships is that they are available worldwide so that it brings the extensive network just a lot larger, a lot more opportunities that are available. And as you can see, this career sector showcase that. Uh, these career sectors are divided amongst uh, different academic tracks. And these academic tracks are specific specific partnerships that we have with UCLA departments on campus to ensure that you are receiving that respective academic credits. So that includes business and communication. We have engineering track, global affairs, political science, and public affairs. I'll make a quick note that our engineering and public affairs tracks are open to majors and minors in those department only. However, all other academic tracks are available to all UCLA majors and minors. Um, as I mentioned, we offer two respective courses on the program. All students would be enrolling in the 185 internship course. Um, we encourage you to view each of the individual program pages for their respective academic track to see what uh, major or minor requirements you may satisfy with this respective course. Uh, we also offer the optional CSD 130 course for the additional four units. And this is really a, a reflection course on your current um, communication skills and how that reflects with the norms or rules in your respective internship sites. So this is an optional course. However, if you do intend to use financial aid to help cover the cost of this program, you must take both of these courses and they will are required to be eligible for financial aid. So eligibility criteria, um, as I mentioned, there are academic tracks that are open to majors and minors only. So once again, just referring to the program pages to see if the respective academic track that you are interested in has restrictions. Otherwise, all these courses, all these respective programs, there are no course prerequisites. Um, you must have a 3.0 cumulative GPA uh, 90 units by spring 2025, and you must be in good academic standing. If you are a first year or a transfer student, you do not yet have an established UC GPA, and that is perfectly okay. Um, in January, we will conduct a second eligibility check prior to releasing, releasing decisions, and that's when we will be able to determine your fall GPA to ensure that you are meeting that 3.0 requirements. Similarly, for the 90 units requirements, we do accept transfer credits. So if you have community college coursework, if you have AP course credit that you have on your UCLA record, we accept that. So as long as you have the 90, 90 units by spring 2025, you would be eligible for the respective program. Let's speak a little bit more about the placement process and timeline. We have a very brief video that will walk you through the process of submitting your application, being accepted into the program, and how you can expect to have an internship, how you can be placed virtually. And so with that, we have a very brief video.
The UCLA Global Internship Program placement process and timeline. The Global Internship Program offers UCLA students the opportunity to gain a competitive edge in the job market with an eight-week international summer internship. Students receive direct UCLA credit and secure an internship based on their academic, professional and personal goals. After an application is submitted, the student will interview with our program partners in the host country to assess their qualifications, experience, goals and discuss possible internship placements. In January, after an extensive review, students are notified of their application status. If accepted, they must submit a non-refundable $300 deposit to secure their spot on the program. In February, students must pay the full program fee or submit a financial aid agreement form. This payment is used to finalize and secure all program logistics, such as housing. This is also the last chance to withdraw from the program without any additional financial penalty. Starting in April and moving into early June, the internship placement process will occur. Our program partners will arrange interviews with local organizations and companies based on each student's individual goals. Students will interview with one host company at a time. Ongoing interviews will continue with prospective internship site managers until there is a match between both the student and the host company. We guarantee all students an international internship placement. Visit ieo.ucla.edu slash global internships to view our programs, dates and deadlines, funding resources, and more. Uh, the UCL so that explained it in a much easier way and shorter way that I possibly could have. Uh, but I really want to emphasize from that video is that we really take into consideration your interests and your goals to make sure you are placed in a meaningful uh, and respective virtual internship. Um, so with that said, there is a two-step process to submitting your application to ensure that you are receiving that meaningful internship. Um, the first and foremost is submitting the online application where we ask them biographical and logistical information. And we also request that you submit a statement of purpose and your resume. The statement of purpose is a pre-formatted template. They're very short responses. In fact, there's character limits with spaces. And um, we're really trying to get a sense here is why you're interested in an internship. Uh, what types of career goals do you have? What interests do you have? Just to ensure that we're able to create have as much information as possible to see if we can place you with the respective internship. Um, simply as well with your resume, just make sure it is up to date. On our respective program pages, we have a what's called a VMOC tool, which is provided by the Career Center uh, to give you some tips on how to edit and submit your best um, looking resume. The second um, step of the application process is completing an application interview. So once you submit your application, if you meet the eligibility criteria, you will be invited to complete an application interview with a partner virtual internships. So these will be conducted on a rolling basis and they must be completed by December 31st of this year. As the video mentioned, in January, we will be releasing decisions. And for that reason, all application requirements must be completed by the end of this year. So failure to complete the application interview with our partner will result result in um, your application being withdrawn. Um, during the application interview, this is a really great chance to explain a, a little bit more about your statement of purpose, more about what you're hoping to grab from this internship. As I mentioned, the statement of purpose has very short responses. So this is a great chance to elaborate more about your interests and your goals and what you're hoping to achieve with this virtual internship to ensure that our on-site partners, our team is able to provide you with a great meaningful internship. So with that said, our applications are now open and they're open through November 25th. Uh, what I want to strictly emphasize is that our applications are not a first come first serve system. We really take into consideration your statement of purpose, your resume, and your application interview. With that said, we encourage you to submit your application sooner than later. Uh, the reason is if 90% of students submit their application on November 25th, for example, the time slots for that application interview could be limited. So in order to avoid um, having your interview during week 10 when you're having to submit final assignments or completing your finals, um, it just, it'd be more recommended to submit your application sooner than later just to avoid those conflicts. But again, not a first come first serve system. Um, and with that, I also want to highlight that within each of our program pages, we do off offer sample internship placements. And um, we'll speak a little bit more about that shortly. Uh, but just know that you can view past internship examples of where UCLA interns have what projects they've had completed virtually before. Um, and again, it's all available on our respective program pages. Um, so I'm talking a little bit about, about the program costs and funding options. So there are two different costs for their respective program, depending if you're considering the four or eight unit program. Uh, for our four units, you can expect a total cost of 2,172, whereas our eight unit program is totaled at 3,288. 
With that said, um, I want to emphasize that financial aid is applicable and it can cover up to the total cost of the program. Um, how much aid you, de you decide to accept or your financial aid determines how much you would pay out of pocket. Um, and with that, I also want to emphasize that summer aid does have to be a little bit more loan heavy. Uh, so while you can receive grants, the amounts of grants will be limited. So you'll have a larger portion covered by loans. Uh, our team will walk you through the steps of the process in order to receive financial aid for the program. Just know that you will need to be able, you will need to complete the next year academic uh, year FAFSA and Dream Act as well as some additional forms. But again, we'll walk you through the process. Um, and then again, just a reminder: if you do intend to use financial aid, you must be enrolled in the two course eight unit program. Similarly, there are scholarships that are available that can help chip away at the cost of the program. Uh, you'll see that we have our Global Internship Program Scholarship is something that's offered directly through our office. If you're pursuing a public affairs or global affairs practice scholarships directly available to you there. Similarly, we have a Gilman uh, Scholarship for all Pell Grant recipients if you are interested. Um, so a lot of great opportunities out there in order to receive free money that you do not need to return in any way. Um, I also want to make a point of contact of resources are GIP ambassadors. So these are participants that have participated um, in past summer 2024 on our virtual program. And you can search by academic year, you can search by depending on uh, virtual location. Um, so we do have ambassadors that can speak a little bit more about their experience, whether it be the application process, application tips, more about how they secured a respective internship. So they are there, they, are, they want to speak a little bit more about their experience. So feel free to connect with our ambassadors. They are available on our program pages as well. With that said, I've talked way too much, and now I want to pass it along to our very special guest, Daniela Bueno, who is representing Virtual Internships. And as I mentioned, Virtual Internships is our partner who has the extensive network to secure that respective internship. So with that, Daniela, I'll go ahead and pass it along to you. Thank you so much, Anna. Let me share my screens very quickly. Um, can you see my screen? Everything looking good? Not yet. There we go. Mm -hmm. There? Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you so much for that. I'm gonna try and be very quick with all the information. I know we have limited time, but um, it's great that everybody um, is, and any student is interested in joining this. And I'm gonna be very clear and very brief about what exactly we offer and how we can help you and how this can be a beneficial for you and how you can, you can best use this virtual internship. So what exactly is a virtual internship? Well, it is also known as a remote internship and it's exactly that. It's a project-based experience that is done through digital platforms. So there's no actual need for you to be in place, in an office, sitting down with your colleagues. So this is a great opportunity because it allows you to do both asynchronous and synchronous work. It is flexible, it is adaptable. You can work from anywhere you would like. If you like to work on the Starbucks near your house, if you like to work on a coffee, wherever you wanna work, you are able to work. If you wanna work at the library of, of your university, you're able to work. Um, it is also accessible, um, accessible worldwide, which means that you can easily be placed with a company from all over the world, uh, either in Singapore or even a company near you, near the next town or where you live. So it is literally a worldwide experience. VI also offers a world um, an all around support. So it is not only the actual internship that you're doing, but you're getting access to coaching, to webinars, to career services, and to an, um, um, a networking experience, which offers you a holistic experience. Um, so what we've pa partners with UCLA, we guarantee a project-based internship that aligns with your studies. This internship program not only guarantees a high quality placement, but also improves your soft skills and career readiness competencies. And this is more than uh, a traditional internship. There's no prior experience needed. This is important for you to know. Anybody can join. Well, of course you need to submit and apply and with everything that Anna just said, but there's no prior experience or work experience needed. What are some of the benefits of a virtual internship? Well, we have kind of gathered them into four main pillars, which is employability, employer connections, flexibility, and joining the future of work. Employability, be employability because you can gain relevant soft skills and industry knowledge directly related to the workplace and establish how to communicate those skills and knowledge to prospective employers for greater employability prospects. Employer connections, well, this is a great opportunity for you to expand your professional network, not only in your country, but world worldwide because you will be connected with worldwide um, um, and probably placed with worldwide uh, host companies this is a great opportunity for you to uh, expand and connect even further. Um, flexibility, like I mentioned, this is a project-based work experience, with experience which allows you for both asynchronous and synchronous. What does this mean? That you will be able to discuss with your supervisor how you want to work, how many times per week you would like to sit down and have face-to-face -face meetings, live meetings like we are having now, 
or if it's more of a, a project base where you have an assignment, you do your work, you complete it, and you exchange over emails or over whatever other tools that um, that company is using. And joining the future of work, we have realized and we have noted that 85 of the program alumni uh, agreed that they increase their ability to work remotely successfully because you will have this experience. So you can add this experience to your resume and to your CV of actually working remotely, which is a great tool to have nowadays. As I mentioned, we have a global connection all over the world. We work with over 15,000 companies in over 80 countries, uh, 200. 50,000 opportunities in the platform today and with more added every day. So we have a special team dedicated to actually reaching out to new companies uh, every day and uh, finding new opportunities for, for our interns. And a very important thing to note is most of the, comp uh, of the opportunities are with SMEs and startup companies, which gives you a more opportunity to connect with senior leadership. What does this mean? That you will able to have more opportunity to shine, to maybe give what you, the best that you can and have more opportunities to gain knowledge directly from these senior leaderships, um, which means, for example, you will be able to work directly with the CEOs or the founders of these startups. And it's great because you will have hands-on more responsibilities from day one. Although it is great to have um, opportunities and, and experience in a more larger organizations and host companies, when you do have um, access to these smaller companies you have with less rigid structure you're able to gain more knowledge and this is something that we've collected over the years and with the past interns that have that have shared their feedback with us with this said i think anna already shared the key dates for your process for your um for your specific program so it's only going to be starting uh for you you have to apply now but you will get access to our application and our process in January once the placement and once the first step of applications is done. And in January, what's gonna happen, you will enter this first place. So it's a very straightforward process and a very um, straightforward journey. I'm just gonna briefly talk about it. So when you apply, when you click on apply to VI, to virtual internships, you are going to have to register to the platform, complete your profile, a very simple, uh, kind of like a LinkedIn where you complete your application, your, your basic contact information. Then you will be asked to submit a video. A quick, it's three quick video applications of 30 seconds to 50 seconds no more. And you will be able to resubmit if you feel like the first trial and the first run didn't go well, you will be able to resubmit. And we tend to see that students get kind of scared about this video, but it's very easy. And it's just an opportunity for the host companies and for us to kind of get to know you, get to know your personality and see who is behind the emails and the, and, and you know, the, 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 the screen. Then we will can, we will review your profile and give you any feedback or um, comments for improvement if needed. If not, you will directly go into the confirm enrollment and then you will be placed into, you will start the placement process, sorry. And the placement process is the matching process. So how does this happen? Um, you know, uh, host companies will start seeing your profiles and st you will start being placed with potential host companies. This is very important because what you submit in the application as skills and goals is what we are using to place you in the host company. So we are really, really, and our team is really, really looking into what are your skills? What are you looking to aim? What are your goals? What do you want to achieve in order for us to place you with the correct um, host company? So it is not something that is done like, oh, these are the host companies that we have. We're going to just randomly put. No, it is very, very much tailor made to your needs, to what you want and to what you want to gain out of this internship. Then uh, we move into the um, interview. If the interview goes well, perfect. It's a match. And then you um, start on the date, which is in June. And then you will go ahead and start your internship, um, your internship experience. You will have internship engagement. You will have mid coaching calls. You would have weekly feedbacks where you share with us how your weekly, your week is going. You will have, you will be able to access uh, different uh, websites, different, different webinars, I'm sorry, and different opportunities for you to really engage and get more out of this internship. Um, like Anna just said, you're, here's a recap of the actual start dates and duration of the program. Uh, briefly, very. I'm going to go really, really quickly on this so if you have any questions at the end. So again, in January, once you get the, the code or, or the website to actually log in, it will be an application specifically designed and specifically made for US, UCLA, sorry, UCLA students. Um, so make sure to use this application because you can easily just go into Google and just, you know, go into our Google website and just find whatever 
um, application you want to join, but make sure you follow the one that is shared with you by your university uh, with the logo next to it. So make sure that you're on the correct page. So you are following the tailored pro um, application process that is specially designed for you. Um, and then you will have, you will need to follow those basic steps. Like I mentioned, build your profile. You're required to add a personal information, your educational details, your skills and goals. And this is a very, very important part on how you build your profile. So you're able to really get the internship that is designed and meant for you. If you have any projects or past experience, you want to share anything you've worked on, um, either volunteer work or anything that you've been working on um, and a project at university that you're really proud of that you want to share. And this is this is what's going to make you stand out of the crowd and stand out and land that really great internship that you can you can benefit from. Then you will need to submit your application. You click this little button. As you can see, the website on a platform is very straightforward. It's very easy to use. It'll tell you exactly where you are. So you are in the enrollment application uh, process here. Then once you click on submit, you will move to the next step, which is the interviews and offer. And once that's done in your match, you'll be able to manage your internship here in the same platform. So it's very user friendly. It's very easy to just to follow the steps. Um, once that's done, you will then get a congratulation. We review with the with the with the study abroad and UCLA office that your application is complete, that everything's done, and you can confirm your enrollment. This is also a very important step because once you confirm your enrollment, you can select the preferred interview slots which you wanna are um, available for you know having the actual interviews with the host company. So this is important because, as I mentioned, since we are operating with worldwide. Um, a host company, the host company might be based in Singapore or in Australia and you are in California. So you need to make sure to select the correct time slot so you're able to meet at a time that is suitable for both of us, for both of you and you're not connected at one in the morning and the other one is at three in the morning. So just, this is an important slot for you to connect um, and just to confirm the enrollment. Once this is done, um, this is gonna be, I think in the first week of January, if I'm not mistaken. So it's gonna come very, very quickly. Once this is, this is done, then you're ready to go and you're gonna start in the placement. And the placement is the very interesting part where all the interviews are happening, where you need to prepare for the interviews. And we're actually gonna be matched with the potential and really great host company for your internship. This is an application video that we created. One of my colleagues really did a really great um, walk through on how to apply the step by step actually doing it in front of you so if you want to click on this and just really kind of take a look at what it looks like I think it's it's always useful to have um, it guides you through the whole application process where you need to click how it looks like what the visual of, of the of our platform is the internship experience I think I'm going to go very quickly on this as well because I, I know we're, we're short on time but Basically, once you complete your profile, everything's done and you're now in the placement process, which is finding the perfect interview for you, we follow what we call a linear placement process. It means that we only do one interview at a time. You are not going to be bombarded with 100 or four or five different interview opportunities. It's one at a time and we focus on that one and it's tailored for you specifically. We have a designated team that is assigned to you and to make sure that you are well prepared for the interview, that the interview goes well. And if the interview goes well, you are um, matched and everything is perfect. If sometimes it doesn't happen because the host company is looking for a different kind of skill sets from an intern, or if you are not very comfortable with what the um, uh, what the host company is offering, then we can uh, move to a different and, and another um, placement. But um, as again, just to say that this is a linear process, you will not be having multiple interviews with different host companies at the same time. Um, this is also an important part and for you to know that the project placement plan is presented to you specifically and based on how what the outcomes of this interview is so the host company doesn't already have something and kind of in mind and this is where it's important for the interview to, to take place for you to share your interests your skills what are you good at and what are you looking to to maybe um put in place and gain with this interview. And this is the great thing about working with small companies and, and startup is that the placement, the, the project plan can be adapted to you and your what you can offer. And you can kind of customize this together with the host company. And you will be offered five key projects um, that are aligned to your career fields and to your industry exposure, exposure. And you will be offered in this, you will be presented with remote tools on how to work with the host company. 
Um, as I mentioned, this is a holistic, at VI we offer you a holistic support. It is not only uh, the day one of your actually first day at work on the internship, but it's an overall um, team that is behind you. You will be able to have intern, intern, intern experience manager, sorry, to support you throughout your internship. You will be having two one-to-one -one coaching calls. The coaching calls, I'll, I'll get into a little a little, bit, little later, but it's it's really a great opportunity for, to connect, to share and, and step out of the actual internship and think of where you want to be, what you want to be after the internship and your career. Um, you'll be you have access to employability webinars every two weeks, career, um, career bridge courses that give you a, an extra something extra on your internship, weekly peer to peer group discussions and at the end, uh, um, a completion certificate that you'll be able to use. As I mentioned, the career bridge is an, also an essential part of your internship program, and this is um, helping you prepare or um, giving you a little more of a personal professional growth with the NACE career readiness competencies. So you'll be able to get uh, some insights on career management, leadership, communication, professionalism, technology, equity and inclusion, teamwork and critical thinking. And this is very, very important because Whatever the career field you're choosing, whatever is your desire to work, if it's either in engineering or if it's in software development or if it's marketing a business, we feel that these items, these, um, this is very important for you to have. Everybody needs to have leadership skills or understand what leadership is. So this will allow you communication skills, especially when working remotely and, and in distant working. This will give you tools to properly prepare you for these, for these, um, you know, for these situations. Um, as I mentioned, you will have career coaching and support, and you will have mid coaching calls and final coaching calls with somebody external to this. So you, somebody you're going to meet and discuss, and this person is going to give you and give you the tools and and mentorship on how to best prepare and how to you utilize what where you are now in your internship to best prepare for the future and for the next steps in your professional and and professional career. The weekly feedback loop is also something that you do during your internship. Every week, every week, you kind of complete a work journal. So you share with us how many hours you've worked, how everything is going with your intern, how every internship hours, if everything is going with your supervisor. Um, if you have anything that is uh, that you want to share, it's kind of like a timesheet or, or an hour log where we review it every day. We compare it with what the supervisor is also uh, putting in. So we understand, we know that everything's working good. And if there's any red flags that we maybe need to assign and assess and just to just to like touch base on what's going on. So we, this is done every week. So we at Virtual Internships follow up regularly with our interns to make sure that everything is going well. Um, we do have a lot, a lot of resources and testimonials on our websites. Um, we have a YouTube channel if, in case you want to log in and, and, and just check out any videos of actual students who have completed the, the interns, what kind of projects they've been working on, what kind of things they've been having, how to best prepare and how to best succeed a virtual internship. We also have um, a blog spot for um, articles for interns to help you to, to better prepare you for this. And we have um, a lot of global expert series on um, what some of the things that we do. For example, we did one a couple of weeks ago on how to best use chat GPT for your work. So it is something that is very not related to what you're actually doing, but is something that is interesting. And we have experts coming in and sharing this kind of information, how you can actually apply it in your day to day. Um, and we have a lot of insights on remote work and internships. So this is really, really great resources that you can use and, and to help you navigate the, the start of your internship. And I think I am right on time, just in case <laughs> anybody has any questions, I am very happy to take them. And we are very much looking forward to, you know, helping you with your internship, with virtual internships. Um, if you have any questions directly to us, you can use the intern support at virtualinternships.com or directly to Anna and, and, and the UCLA uh, study abroad. We're constantly in, in communications. Thank you so much, Daniela. Yes, uh, we are uh, constantly in communication. So if you have any questions, you can connect with virtual interests specifically, or you can connect with the GIP team on the UCLA end. Um, so I specifically oversee the business and communication, global affairs and political science track, whereas Andrew sees the engineering and public affairs track. So you can connect with either one of us. However, you're looking into specific tracks, we have a little bit more insight depending on the respective sector that you're interested in. Uh, but again, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. If you have any questions, feel free to enter them into the chats or feel free to unmute yourself and go ahead and just ask that question.